you find it difficult to use your CPAP in the early weeks, this section will help you overcome some of the common issues. Some people find it difficult initially to cope with the air pressure. Usually it takes just a little time and patience. Find some time during the day to sit with your CPAP on, perhaps watching TV, reading or sitting with some relaxing music. Don't attempt to alter your breathing for CPAP, just breathe normally. If you wake in the night and you feel the pressure too high, briefly turn the machine off, then switch it on again and go back to sleep with the machine at the low initial pressure. If you can't get back to sleep, remove your mask and turn off the device. If you feel you can, refit your mask and have another go. Otherwise, simply leave it off and start again the next night. Often, the number of hours used each night increases over time. Some use every night is better than none at all. If any problems persist, talk to your CPAP provider about the possibility of altering the settings. Mask leaks are also common. This can be due to the wrong size mask, but it's usually due to a poor fitting or an unclean mask. If your mask is leaking air, pull it gently away from your face and reseat it, as the cushion may have a crease in it. If the problem persists, adjust the straps slightly using only small movements in tension. Too often people are tempted to over tighten the mask. Doing so often causes leaks as well as red marks or sores on the face. Ensure you're cleaning your mask daily as per the care and cleaning guide. A buildup of facial oils on the mask cushion can cause it to become greasy, move around too easily and lead to leaks. If there's a power cut, you're not at any risk aside from your sleep being disturbed. The pressure from your CPAP machine will drop and you'll most likely wake up and remove your mask. If you stay asleep, you're safe. People wearing a nasal mask will probably begin to breathe through their mouth. If you're wearing a full face mask, you'll be able to breathe through the small safety valve. All masks have small holes to allow the air inside the mask to refresh. When the power comes back on, the pressure from your CPAP machine will go back to normal. Some patients using a nasal mask may find that they're breathing through their mouth during the night. This will be apparent to a bed partner, as the escaping air will result in excessive noise levels. Although some degree of dryness is normal in CPAP, you may find that it becomes excessive. You might also experience a sore throat. If this is happening to you, please contact your CPAP provider as you may benefit from either a full face mask, which will allow you to breathe either from your nose or your mouth, or from added humidification. Both can be successful in resolving the problem. If you're using CPAP for at least four hours every night and you're still experiencing the same symptoms as before treatment, consult your CPAP provider. You may need your settings adjusted.